Hey guys, it's India here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my 38 week update. I honestly don't even remember when my last update was. I think I might have been like 32 or 3, maybe 34 weeks. Um, but yeah, so um, I am officially well over officially nine months pregnant um i am two weeks away from my due date well roughly a little under two weeks away from my due date i turned 38 weeks on this past sunday um so to update you guys okay so i had a doctor's appointment last week and at 37 weeks is when they start to check you from dilation i got checked i was dilated maybe one centimeter and nothing else <laughs> but my doctors assure me that I am right on track um, especially with baby number three I have been experiencing quite a few Braxton Hicks contractions especially today I've experienced a lot of them they're nothing consistent they're nothing that you know pains me but I did tell my mom like now like when I'm having the contractions I like have the contractions the Braxton hits and sometimes I can feel like pressure TMI I know but I can feel pressure of the baby um bearing weighing down or trying to move down so my doctor said that's a good thing um as far as sleeping goes I don't really sleep the best I'm at the point in the pregnancy where I wake up a lot a go to the bathroom <laughs> And then B, I wake up a lot to just kind of change positions. Like if I'm on one side too long, I have to switch to the other side because my hips um, are a little sore. Um, my pelvic area is kind of sore because I do um, carry baby low. Like ever since I was first pregnant with her, when they were, they had to find the heartbeat. They always had to find it kind of like really low. And I know my doctor told me, you know, if baby finds a spot that they like, they usually just kind of stay there. So, I'm definitely carrying this little girl low. Um, but other than that, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I am nesting full mode now. I have cleaned and technically deep cleaned my whole house. So, I just kind of have to keep everything neat and together. I'm starting to pack bags. Um, like, I'm going to do my hospital bag. And then um, I will be staying um, with my parents for a couple weeks after I have the baby. So I have to pack my bag and then my girls. I have two older girls, if you don't know. I have to pack their bag. So we're going to be over there for probably like two weeks. Um, just so I can get a little extra help with the baby and the girls. So I have to do all that. So today I ran around and got things um, that I needed like postpartum to put in my diaper bag. Um, I pretty much have everything for baby girl. I'm going to stay off Amazon because I'm always finding something else to buy. Um, there are like maybe three more things that I need for her, but I don't need them before she's born. I have time to buy them. Um, so that's good. So yeah, that's really all I have to update you guys on. Now in my title, there's something else that I wanted to actually talk about in my title. Um, I put like I refuse an induction now oh no 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 wait wait before we get to that i found this really cool baby app that i'm so mad that i didn't know about before and it's called pregnancy plus and i just think it's the cutest thing because it gives you like <laughs> this 3d image of like the baby and what the baby looks like i just think it's the cutest thing in the world oh my god it's so cute so i will link that in the description box below if you're like looking for a pregnancy app and then um wait it'll show too like uh wait wait wait, wait. it'll show oh okay so it'll show like how um, usually pregnancy apps will say oh what is the baby like it shows the baby size size but I think it's so cute because it goes by fruit so they said the baby is as big as a watermelon at 38 weeks or it could go by animal it's as big as a lamb 
or it could go by sweets and it's as big as a wedding cake i think this is the cutest thing in the world so if you have to be pregnant and you're looking for a pregnancy app this one is really good the one that i have been using is called the bump i think it's the bump yeah the bump i have been using this the whole time for the most part um so they all say different things and this one says of course well baby big as a watermelon this one is cute too um but i just thought that was really cute with like the little 3d baby i thought that was adorable okay so the last thing i wanted to touch on is okay so when i went to my 36 week appointment um the doctor was telling me or one of the doctors because if you go to a doctor's office like mine you have to see besides your doctor you usually have to see every doctor in the practice because sometimes you never know who will be on call to deliver your baby okay so 36 weeks um i got a checkup and you know nothing crazy nothing different happened and they were telling me how um at 37 weeks that they could strip my membranes to um try to get things going um and if you don't know what that is you can actually look that up but basically i believe it's like something where after they check your cervix for dilation they do it manually with their fingers and they kind of rub their fingers on the inside of your cervix and what it does it kind of loosens that um water bag um up a little bit so it can help break your water um it is something that's not always that um works and it doesn't work <laughs> it's different for everybody so some women it actually works for some it doesn't um i've heard that it's pretty painful and um yeah so they told me that that i might be a good candidate for that since it's my third baby saying all this to say i did not decide to do that a you're really not supposed to do it until 38 weeks a week before your due date i found out and i also found out that you know if your body and your baby are not ready to come that a it can be painful b it can cause a bleeding um and the baby won't come until whenever it's ready so saying all that to say i wanted to encourage you ladies obviously you guys you can do whatever you want to do you know it's your body it's your baby but i want to encourage you i know like towards the end of our pregnancies we get tired and we get anxious and i'm not talking about like if you go over your due date because i've been there before i've went over my due date like my second daughter i had her at 41 weeks and i was scheduled for an induction but she ended up coming the day before I was scheduled for the induction on my own um, I had an induction with my first daughter and it was not a good situation <laughs> they thought that they saw something on the ultrasound but then when I went in for my induction because I got induced at 39 weeks on the dot what they thought they saw they did not see um, so I don't know if it was just human error um, actually I take that back I believe that God healed my baby <laughs> I believe God healed my baby but besides the point whatever they thought they saw they didn't see and they had already started my induction and they had to go through with it and um, I was watching someone else's labor and delivery story and they were saying how one intervention usually leads to another intervention and honestly that's what happened I didn't just get induced straight away with pit Pitocin um it was like one thing after another after another after another and by the end of my induction i had a fever my baby had a fever my baby was barely breathing like it was a big mess um but saying all that to say it's one thing if you have to get medically induced if you have to get induced for a reason like there's something medically wrong with your baby or there's something medically wrong with you then by all means yes you got to do what you got to do um for the sake of your baby and for yourself but i'm encouraging you guys even though a the membrane 
uh, stripping, I believe that's what they call it. It's not like a induction, induction, like a traditional induction, like with Pitocin. It is some type of induction. I know for me, like, I like <laughs> the point where I'm just like, I'm not doing anything to induce my labor. There's so many things you can look up on the internet, whether it be drinking this solution or doing this or doing that. I just am trusting in the Lord and I'm trusting my body and I'm trusting the baby that it will get ready and the baby will come when it's time to come on its own. I feel like I've had that experience where we tried to force the baby to come and the baby really wasn't ready and it really didn't turn out good. So I wouldn't want to do that. So it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Trust me, I know. It's uncomfortable towards the end. But I do really want to encourage you guys, like, if you don't have to get an induction, just try to wait. Oh, just try to wait it out and wait for your baby to come. Like, I feel like in the long run, it'll be healthier for you and your baby. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know your individual situation. Um, like I said, that's one thing. If there's medically something wrong, or obviously you went over to your you went over your due date, like how I was, 41 weeks. Well, duh, you can't really stay pregnant like that. So they're going to have to, you know, do an induction if you just can't, if you don't naturally go into labor yourself. But I know I've heard, like, quite a few ladies, like, talking about choosing to do one, which I said to each is their own. But, you know, just be patient and your body will do what it's supposed to do. Like I said, I know you can get anxious and I know you can get uncomfortable. But I just want to encourage everybody to just be patient and listen to the bodies <laughs> um whether there's something good going on or whether there might be something wrong just listen to your body because i feel like our bodies were designed to do this god designed our bodies to have babies and to go into labor i mean our due dates honestly that's just the estimated time you know around when you should have the baby so if your baby doesn't come exactly on your due date that doesn't mean that it doesn't technically mean that your baby's late or something's wrong because it's an estimated time. Um, like for me, I'm hoping that I do have my baby by my due date or a little before. But if it, that does not happen, I will write it out just like I wrote it out with my second. And like I said, I'm just going to trust in my body and trust in God that we will be okay and my body is able to do what it's supposed to do. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing is healthy baby healthy mom that's all i have for my video um yeah that's all i have for my video today um i think i'm gonna vlog maybe the next couple weeks just like as a countdown to the baby let you guys know what's going on and just to document this i didn't document it with my second daughter i documented a little bit of my pregnancy and i didn't document my first one because i really wasn't on youtube like that but just kind of going back and seeing my babies little it's just something nice to kind of look back at so i'm going to try to document document this as much as i possibly can and um yeah that's all i have for you guys um after this i'm gonna do like a little bump shot and that's all um i love you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in another video bye